What is going on guys? Thank you so much for tuning back in. We've got the round two back nine of the 2024 Legends of the Lake presented by Innova Discs. Uh, we're gonna be at Zephyr Cove again for that uh, that back nine of round two. These guys are playing traditionally from hole one, so they're actually teeing off of hole 10 for this. There's, you guys got myself, Spanky Edwards. We've got our special guest, Dave Salazar, in the booth. Howdy and the- Joining us. Yeah, thank you. And the catch cam, Ridge. <laughs> Safety Ridge. Safety Ridge Berkeley. Um, yeah. Uh, these guys played a pretty, <clears throat> pretty hot front nine. Uh, we had yeah. a couple of fives through nine, which is pretty fire. Uh, we did see Andrew McGill go seven down through nine, which is pretty unbelievable. Yeah, you can believe these guys are going to be pushing to get some more birdies as well. And it's all on Udis now, live scoring, so they can see what he's doing, what he's putting mm -hmm. together, and they know he's slid his way up into second place, and you know, it's going to light the fire. For yeah, sure. absolutely. And, you know, our lead cart, or our cart here is not... They're playing really well. They're playing really well, <laughs> yeah. and you've just got somebody cr creeping up with a seven under through nine. Yeah. So, you know, definitely they're going to be concerned about, you know, like <clears throat> a three under. They're going to, you know, Tristan's going to need to keep moving and try to take control of that number one spot again. Anyway, we've got hole 10, par three, 420. Right down the gut. Downhill. Awesome shot. If you like disc golf, you like this hole. I mean... Everyone thinks of 9 and 15 as the signature holes, and I think of 10. Yeah. This shot is so much fun. Look at this shot. Wow, oh, my drifting goodness. On. Rewind that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Hitting the left side and drifting from left to right. On a hyzer, and then just flip. Wow, that was, uh, that was the beauty of a shot. I've never even thought about doing that. This is going deep. Uh, where's he playing? To? He's playing to the B posi C position. The D position. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. The par 4. It was a little long. Oh, is he going to get the flip? So Nate needs oh, to okay. slow down so he doesn't go into this cabbage. He gets a little bit of that bush. We'll see what he has left. Yeah, he's going to have like a jump putt, <clears> but it's going to be so annoying in those little bushes. Right. Tristan, oh, oh I was going to see if he can get around that. He just it's hard to say if quite. It was, it's hard to say if it was a good branch or not, because sometimes if you air like past the branch, you can be like 50 long. So Sure. But it did leave him quite a bit short, so... Wow. All right. Yeah, good, bad. Hopefully, Tristan can get this one up and in. Oh. Wow. Nice little laser of a putt. Just like that. Nice putt, Jaden. It's a heck of a drive. One of the best on this card, but I'm going to say Ryan had... An amazing, amazing <laughs> shot. The, the coolest, right? Wow, yeah. So it looks like Doug Hall's up there on the left spotting. Oh, yeah? <laughs> in the B position. Ryan's going to tap in for his par, and Ryan is going to tap in for his birdie. Great job, gentlemen. Yeah, two birds, three pars. Again, one of my favorite holes on this course, hands down. It's hard to hate it. Yeah. Here's a tricky one. Yeah, hole 11, 234. It is on the ground today, yeah. which makes it a little easier. <clears throat> Sometimes it plays up on this big rock behind the basket. But this guy's going for a little semi-chop forehand, it looks like. Yes, yeah, interesting to see the first two shots going... Yeah, we do see a lot of the forehands just kind of go out to the left side. Mm -hmm. So far, everyone's electing this straight at it approach. It's there. This, you know, you're just going to drift a little bit. That's still really, really, really good, Absolutely. actually. Nate's going to go a little more inside. Well, something maybe a little more stabile. Actually, you know what? That's a good putt. You can, he has a good putt from there. Yeah, he's looking straight downhill at it. Yep. I think everybody's gone forehand wow. straight down the gut at it. Oh, my gosh, and that's perfect. When I go pro, that's what I'm, I'm going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> when you go pro or when you learn a forehand? <laughs> What's a forehand? Oh, that's what they did. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> that's another great putt. Fantastic. Jaden, that's two really nice, clean putts right in a row, just straight in <clears throat> low. 
shows that he's confident in that putt. Yep. Ryan Ryan Jewell getting his birdie as well. Ryan Bain getting his birdie as well. Nate's going to tap in for his par. And Tristan, watch your head, bud. Great okay. drive. Fantastic. What's up, Ridge? I I don't like that he doesn't have a safety I'm vest on. I'm concerned for him. That shirt's pretty dark. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> hole, hole 12, it's 444 feet. Uh, <clears throat> quite a bit downhill, actually. It doesn't yeah. seem like it is when you're standing on the tee pad, but when you get down to the fairway, you realize it's kind of way down there. He's well, he, just trying to hit this this. It's, a, up it's, down a, pi the it's a pipeline. Yeah. You want to go right down the pipe. Yeah, not the right flight. <clears throat> Typically something like on baby hyzer to f and flipping it up to flat and maybe an old drift right uh, or the forehand line. Uh, just a little side note. This is uh, this whole sponsored by Dave Salazar <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> But it will be sponsored, uh, I think, next, this year by Tahoe Disc Golf Adventures. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Did that go all the Wow. He needs this to flip a little bit. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Mm. So Nate's going to pop out into the fairway. So he's actually in a, a pretty good spot, you guys, for not getting down there. It's a pretty stock hyzer shot from there. This is a little trickier, but the approach on this, <clears throat> it's, uh, I know this is going to sound hilarious, but it's a lot harder to approach than it is to park the hole. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, you know what? I, <laughs> but when you're like 80 to hundred feet away, it's hard to get the disc Ooh. to stay right on the green close. Sure, it's super yeah. easy to slide away or roll away. I definitely see your point. Although it is a hard hole to park. <laughs> I mean, just like that, it gets away from you really fast. <clears throat> That's a good par clean up there. Nate's going to go up to 13 with his par. Might want to go get his bag, though. Here we go. Unfortunately, Jaden's going to get a little bogey there, but, you know, that's not rare on this hole, to be honest. It's really not. They can get away from you real quick. Ryan's going to go ahead and say, par me. Did see we saw four bogeys on the day. Oh, and only four birdies. So yeah, this goes to show how hard of a hole that really is. Anyway, hole thirteen, uh, three hundred and thirty-six feet. Forehand out to the left is a popular play. I like the backhand right up the gut personally better, but it's not Same. an easy. It's not an easier shot by any means. It's, I'll tell you what, you got to be on. Looks like Ryan's gonna do just that. Just get that clean. is so good. Because it's easy to you want to flip something up, but then it flips up just too much, and you catch something on the right side or not enough, and you go to the left side. So that's a beautiful shot as well. Thankfully, he got his hat back. Wow, <laughs> I think he caught it. <laughs> yeah, pulled a little Matty O. Those were two unbelievable shots right down the gut. And oh, Nate's gonna miss just a little bit there. That is the. The scary part about going <clears throat> up the gut is it's not perfect. It's almost horrible. What happens is that in the middle of this fairway, the bushes are tall. You know, they're anywhere from stomach to chest high, if not head yeah. high in some spots. You can see here. So, yeah, the, then approaching from there is almost impossible because you throw in from your chin. Yeah, yeah. I've seen you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Player of your caliber. <laughs> You mean my height? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tristan, oh beautiful goodness. birdie. Fantastic. Fantastic. Hmm. Uh -huh. I think he just left a little flat there. Yep, he's looking to clean it up, and he does just that. Oh, oh no. I think it's even longer this time. That's a really good comeback. His putt, the previous two holes, would look so confident. Yeah. Huh. Nice birdie by Ryan as well. Mm-hmm. 
What do we got here? Exactly. Two birdies. Three, All right. Three pars. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, hole 14, 321, uphill. This is playing to the, the deeper B position. And these guys are going to make it look short, but I promise you it's not. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I promise you this hole is not short. Now that's a mistake Ooh. that he's going to get away with. He's going to yep. be closer to pin high, but you really don't want to be down on that left side. This is high zone out as well. He's going to have the distance to where it's not that big of a deal, but it's very, very steep going up that hill. Not that anybody cares, but this hole has my number. Not Nate's, though. That's, I, that's like the dream shot right there. Turn over, back in, around that side with something yeah, flipping just, the whole just time. Just traveled. Yeah. yeah. Yep. He got caught by that last branch on that really annoying tree right there. I think the approach, though, as long as you get, like, I mean, even halfway up the fairway, the approach isn't the worst. Yeah. There's a lot of bushes around the green. You can just try to stick a bush within 10 feet of it. So. Yeah, look at Nate with the one of, one of the nicer drives. Oh, no. Oh. That flag's uh, blowing pretty good. It's actually moving the basket. Yeah, look at that. So, yeah, that's a great birdie from Tristan. Um, Jayden, Spank, Jayden. do you know how many people got birdies on this? Because I'm going to say not more than four. Let's see. We've got... Guys tapping in for pars. I'll tell you what, it's less than four. <laughs> <laughs> Is it one? Two. Oh, no kidding. Wow. Two birds. Oh, so hole 15, you guys. One of the... <sighs> One of the nicest holes at Zephyr, or like I said, in disc golf as well. Just like hole nine, a little bit higher. One of the best views of Lake Tahoe. I, I mean, you could just walk up there and hang out on the bench. Yeah. And spend an hour up there just looking at the views. I mean, look at this. So 435, this is in the, in the short. Yeah. This is the A position. Yeah, the yeah. A position. Very gettable, but it's kind of down there. And a lot of manzanita in the way. And a couple of tricky trees. Yeah, I'd say I'd say the most common play is like a putter or a mid backhand, just mm -hmm. right at it down the gut, because it's so downhill. Just let that thing fall. But then there's also this play. This one is very particular, like to the wind. You, if you've got a southwest wind, it really makes it difficult. The north wind uh, kind of Great blows shot. the disc right to the basket. So Great shot, though. I mean, it's, it's so fun to throw. It's, it's so fun to watch, and <laughs> it's clearly doable. Just threw that one to the sky. These guys need to watch out. He's got it. Okay. Look at this manzanita. Just a sea of green. Yeah, seriously. And you wonder why people lose discs here. They do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> notorious. It's a notorious place for losing discs. I think it's what it says in the reviews. Oh, does it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys. Okay, this is Tristan's birdie look. Yeah. Oh. That's a good attempt. Yeah. Those bands they do, like they just they do make the jump pedal tricky. You know, you have to be aware of your landing zone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and your stepping zone too. Oh no. Oh, a rare early miss or near miss by Mr. Tolman. Oh. Are you kidding me? What's going on here? Some kind of force field around the basket. Oh. I don't know. All the baskets I play on have force fields on them. <laughs> <laughs> Let me turn this on. We got to see. Any birds? Is that all part of two bogues? Yeah, those were unfortunate. Uh, you know. Wow, three... Three pars and two bogeys, darn. Hmm. It, it, truthfully, it, it doesn't play as that difficult of a hole. Yeah, they just had some unlucky. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hole 16, you guys, is a par three. 267. Uh, I'm thinking this is in the saddle. 
Yeah, you can see it now. There it yeah. is. Oh, watch Gosh. out, Ridge. Watch out, Ridge. He's not wearing his safety. <laughs> He's not wearing colors. his safety vest. Whoa. I'm thinking the most common play here is the forehand out to the left. Mm -hmm. But if you're a backhand guy, there's actually a lot more lines. You can go kind of the right side. You can try a little turnover down the forehand line. There's a few uh, tricky things here, but like I think you're right. You're absolutely right. Actually, the forehand is the play here. You're just crashing into the rocks the whole time. So if you're accidentally going a little long or even early and left, that happens, mm -hmm. and you're parked. And he's parked. Yeah, that saddles. Uh, that's a catcher. Whereas this play can get away from you if you get over everything. And bye bye. And see you later. So you guys, that is about a kajillion miles away <laughs> downhill. <laughs> I mean, look how far away he is going back uphill. I'm not even sure the camera Watch zooms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> uh, <clears throat> Ridge was not hurt in the making of this video. <laughs> R.I.P. Ridge. <laughs> no, <laughs> there. Wow. There it is. All right. We can get two there. <laughs> One of the coolest holes. It's so fun. It, it really is. This, this is, for me, Zephyr's the course where I go, one of my favorite holes, one <laughs> of my favorite holes, one of my favorite holes. All the time. All the time. Um, hole 17, par 3, 260. This is a little downhill chipper. <laughs> see a little chipper? We're seeing so he needs the... to hold on, and it's... But he's going to have a... That seems like a little bit of an unorthodox play. Like, you see that Nate's lining up the crazy overstable. I think that's the Zone OS mm. that he threw on Anheuser, just trying to set someone to crash short. Yeah. <clears throat> well, after the pin, it really drops off. There's a lot of danger down there. Oh, that's a nice shot there. There's uh, these pseudo backstop trees to the left of the pin, and he's not going to hit any of them. And then you're just in that, you said that, that chest high manzanita. Mm -hmm. Uphill putt. If you don't have a Matty O putt, then you're. Uh, he needs it to hook up. And does not. So, where are we? He's got a long wound here. Oh, so close. And it's sat too. Yeah, you got to watch for the roll away potential on this green. It's vicious. Even with a shot like that, it can just get up on edge, just on the dirt itself. Right, Nate. I feel like Nate gave it a baby bid there mm -hmm. to making sure he landed flat. And there's one of those guardian trees, and she stays. Wow. All right, so. Our friend from State Line here converts his birdie. Wow, so we're looking at a couple of, uh, what, eight downs? Yeah, crazy to think that uh, McGill was seven through nine. And Maybe. we've got some eights through 17 so far, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this course can take its toll on people, too. It's oh, I'm, I'm just curious to see where McGill carried on for the back now. I'm sure. excited to see after hole 18, you know, the, the check-in. So I'm going to walk over to hole 18, guys. It's, it's a little, just a short walk. One of my favorite holes. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. Uh, yeah, 18, 357 downhill. It's a straight shot with a putter. I hate you mid. Well, Ryan's going to drift a bit to the left. Actually, not a bad spot. He's, a, you know, he's going to have a putt. The only thing that, or a long putt, rather. The only thing that stinks about that left side is that it's downhill, and the green does slope away from the basket. So mm -hmm. if you're not drawing metal, you're all of a sudden another 35-footer. Yeah, hopefully yeah. you can hit some of the bushes there. Right. Looks like Nate's throwing his tactic forehand here. He's going to put on a little flexy-flexy, and I think he's going to like the way he looks. A little yeah. short, maybe? I think he may have caught a late tree. Hmm. There's one tree down there right in front of the basket. It's a baby tree. Surprises it. All right. Surprised does not see Nate go with just a putter backhand. He's such a good putter backhand thrower. 
Kid's good at everything. Well, that too. He could just be messing around because he can do it all. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this. Yeah, he must have caught one of these trees. Come on. Oh, oh my goodness. He's smiling. That's a good way to finish the round. I wonder what he's listening to. <laughs> just like bang cool. chains, bang chains. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a classical guy to me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, like Bach or like uh, <laughs> Aerosmith. <laughs> That's not what kind of classical you're talking about. <laughs> oh, Tristan's feeling like that one kind of stuck to the fingers there. Oh. <sighs> He's going to convert for his par. And this is only round two out of five. I know. I can't believe... Uh, I hope these guys get some rest, drink some water. Luckily, they get yeah. Luckily, they get to get some sleep tonight. You know. Yeah, yeah. All right. Looks like Tristan's gonna convert his par as well. And we got two eight downs. Oh wait, who's still putting here? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's see this check in now. Eight, eight, Leaderboard six, check five, in. four. Huh. What did it take to stay on the lead card? So Tristan's going to be up there. Bane, Jewel, McGill. Okay, so he only shoots one down on the back nine. Huh. And then Will wow. Ling sliding his way up there in 16 under. Dan Turner. Yep. He's in there T5 for 16 under. Way Nate's, to go, Dan. Nate's going to drop a spot, but be hanging out there in the T5 area, so... Yep, he'll be on chase guard there for tomorrow. Yeah, where are we going tomorrow? Oh, I want to say it's uh, Sierra College. Is that right? Oh, I think you're right. Is that right? I could be wrong, folks, but we'll fact check that. Well, all I know is it's going to be a great round, and I really appreciate everyone tuning in. And we're going to get that round out as quickly as we can. So uh, please check us out for round three over there. Thanks, everybody.